Hi, I'm super excited because here I have the Xiao module with the brand new Raspberry Pi RP2350 microcontroller. Let's have a quick look at it. I'm using Xiao modules in various of my hobby projects, so Seed Studio were kind enough to send me a couple of samples of the new Xiao RP2350. Here is a quick unboxing. The packaging is plain and simple. The module comes in a plastic box. It's very easy to open it. As you can see, the package contains only the module, nothing more. So if you want to use the Xiao RP2350 on a breadboard, you have to get your own uh, mail header pins and solder them. On the front side of the Xiao RP2350, there is a USB-C connector. On the left side of the connector, there is one user LED and one power LED. On the right side of the connector, there is one RGB LED. On the bottom, there are a couple of very small buttons. One is for reset and the other one is for boot. The Xiao RP2350 offers 19 GPIO pins in total. Out of them you get the following interfaces. Three of the pins also work as analog to digital converters. There are two I2C buses, two URs for serial communications, two SPI interfaces and all of these 19 GPIOs are PVM capable. This means that you can do pull suite modulation with them. Xiao RP2350 is not the first module of this type. Actually, C Studio has a whole family of these modules with the same form factor and different microcontrollers. In the past, I've done unboxing video for some of the other modules, so if you're curious, you can have a look at these videos for more technical details about the other modules. To turn on Xiao RP2350, just plug a USB-C cable and connect it to a computer. After that, you can program it. Uh, this module has the same microcontroller as the brand new Raspberry Pi Pico 2, which means that it supports the same framework for software development. As of the moment, you can use the C and C++ SDK provided by Raspberry Pi and also MicroPython. In future, other frameworks will be ported to this microcontroller too. Uh, I'm expecting that CircuitPython will soon have a release. The dimensions of Xiao RP2350 are 21 by 17.8 millimeters. This is the same form factor with USB-C for all modules from the Xiao family. As mentioned previously, there are true holes which allow you to sew mail header pins and mount the module on a breadboard. However, there are also castellated holes which allow surface mount technology assembly. A couple of years ago, Raspberry Pi made a groundbreaking move. They entered the microcontroller business with the release of the Raspberry Pi RP2040 microcontroller and the development board Raspberry Pi Pico on which it was integrated. Nowadays, in August 2024, Raspberry Pi announced the second edition of their microcontroller. It is called RP2340. 50 and it comes again with a development board, the Raspberry Pi Pico 2. The Raspberry Pi Pico 2 has the same form factor and dimensions like Raspberry Pi Pico. Um, shortly after that, C Studio announced this module that I have here, the uh, Xiao RP2350. It is with the same uh, microcontroller like Raspberry Pi Pico 2. This um, microcontroller is better and faster compared to Raspberry Pi RP2040. However, the bigger difference is that this microcontroller, the RP2350, comes supporting two different architectures. So you can switch between ARM and RISC-V. This is the first um, chip by Raspberry Pi that supports RISC-V, uh, so it opens a new world of opportunities and possibilities, you can freely experiment with RISC-V uh, if you have a Raspberry Pi Pico 2 or another board with the same microcontroller like the Xiao RP2350. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of Xiao RP2350 to a Raspberry Pi Pico. I don't have Raspberry Pi Pico 2, but it has the same form factor and dimensions.
The advantages of the Xiaomi module are the tiny size and the USB-C connector. The disadvantage is that the Pico has more GPI opens. Let's do another comparison. Here on the left side I have Xiao RP2350 and on the right side is again Xiao but with the older microcontroller RP2040. Both have the same size and dimensions, however the newer version of the module comes with smaller RGB LED and smaller buttons. The major advantage of the new model with the RP2350 microcontroller are the extra GPIOs on the back. If you have been following my YouTube channel, you know that I am an open source hardware enthusiast and I designed printed circuit board with the free and open source software keycat. In the past, I've integrated Xiao RP2040 into uh, mini mechanical keyboards such as Anavi MacroPad 12, into other input devices such as the open source hardware adapter for the Wii Ninja controller, and even into a microphone. I'm looking forward to do the same with the new Xiao RP2350. In my opinion, the major advantage of Xiao RP2350 compared to Xiao RP2040 is that on the back of the new model, there are extra pads allowing you to uh, access extra 8 GPIO pins. This is really convenient if you're working uh, on projects requiring more GPIO pins, for example, if you want to do a mechanical keyboard. As you know, I'm into mechanical keyboards and I'm looking forward to experiment with this new module and mechanical keyboards with more keys. By the way, the Xiao module comes with a high quality gold plated black printed circuit board with white silk screen. As you can see, the pads on the back of the PCB for the additional GPIO pins are labeled from D11 to D18. I have to admit it's a little bit hard to access these pads on the back. Probably the best approach would be to design uh, your own custom printed circuit board and to do surface mount technology assembly of the Xiao module. So I consider this as a feature for advanced users. On the back side of the printed circuit board of Xiao RP2350, there are also two pads for attaching a battery. In your firmware, no matter what kind of programming language and SDK you prefer, you can use GPO29, uh, also known as A3 pin, to read the battery voltage level. Remember, it's necessary to enable the battery level readings by setting the GPIO19 pin to high. Thank you very much for watching this video. As a conclusion, I have to say that Xiao RP2350 is an amazing little board with the powerful Raspberry Pi RP2350 microcontroller. If you're working on a project that requires a constrained space, definitely have a look at this tiny module. I'm gonna use it in my future uh, videos and open source hardware projects. If you like this type of content, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for new videos. See you soon.